Hello there, I'm Pete Cantor, the Mayor of Plainsboro Township. I want to welcome you to the Spotlight Specials. Today, I'm delighted to have uh, David Bander, who's the newest member of our Township Committee with me. Uh, David uh, was appointed to the Township Committee in June of 2012 to replace Mike Weaver, who uh, retired and moved on to uh, North Carolina. Michael served the community for over 15 years and did an outstanding job. And I know David's going to be doing an outstanding job as well. So David, uh, welcome. And we want to introduce you a little bit to the community, give some information about you. OK, thank you. It's a pleasure yeah. to be here. It's good to see you. Uh, I thought maybe we'd start a little bit by uh, talking a little bit about your background, mm -hmm. uh, educational background, and then kind of the things you've been doing. Sure. Uh, go ahead. Well, so I'm, I'm originally uh, from northern New Jersey, Essex County. Mm -hmm. Um, and I uh, went to Rutgers for two years. I graduated from the University of Virginia in 2002. I got a law degree from um, Vanderbilt University Law School in Tennessee in 2006. And then after that, I worked um, a little bit as an attorney, and then I worked in politics on a number of um, political campaigns. And then I, I came, uh, first became um, familiar with Plainsboro when I started working for Senator Linda Greenstein in, uh, she was then an assemblywoman. In 2009, I started working for um, Linda as her chief of staff. And uh, I moved to Plainsboro in uh, 2010. Um, I lived in the apartments, lived in Pheasant Hollow and then Fox Run. And uh, my wife and I recently purchased a townhouse in the Hampshire development, and we were married uh, about four months ago. Well, so. Congratulations. Thank you. I happened to be uh, privileged to attend your That's wedding. Right. That's right. It was an right. interesting wedding up in Maine. It was <laughs> great. Uh, you talk about the, some of the political involvement you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you served as chief of staff to Senator Greenstein, and I think there's some other political involvement you've had along the way as well. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, I, I worked on um, some other um, political campaigns in New Jersey, um, and then I uh, also, in addition to working for Senator Greenstein, I was privileged to uh, be appointed to the Zoning Board in Plainsboro, um, to the Development Review Committee, and that was really, um, uh, you know, helpful to develop the knowledge of land use, which is, you know, it, 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 it's so essential to local government, you know, and, and, and it's something that wasn't... Uh, I didn't have much knowledge of before I was appointed. That's particularly true in a community like mm -hmm. Plainsboro. I mean, but Plainsboro, uh, you know, our whole shtick has been good planning right. here in Plainsboro right. Township. And right. I think it's, it's great that you've had that opportunity to, to uh, serve in, in positions where you can understand some of the mm -hmm. land use issues and some of the challenges that we face as a community. Uh, you have an interesting employment uh, currently. I mean, you're you're employed in some interest in interesting yeah. field. Maybe a little bit talk a little sure. bit about that. Sure. So I, I work for um, a labor union. Uh, the labor union is called 1199 SEIU. Um, it's a local of the Service Employees International Union. We mostly represent um, healthcare workers, particularly um, nursing home workers and and home health aides. Mm -hmm. um, and what I do for them is I, I bargain uh, labor contracts and collective bargaining agreements. Um, and I've been doing that for about three years. I, I come from kind of a, a labor background. My dad was a very, very strong uh, union member. Um, he sold furniture, but uh, he was, um, his furniture company was organized by the Teamsters Union. And so he was a very strong uh, supporter of the Teamsters. And then that's kind of influenced me um, in the work that I've done in working for Senator. Now that, that job that you're involved in, mm -hmm. uh, in working for the, the union is basically, mm -hmm. uh, you say you bargaining, but it's really a negotiation process. That's right. right. That's interesting because I, I came out of a 25 year background in, in procurement, a lot of that re related to negotiations. And mm -hmm. I, I've always found that that kind of background is particularly important in, in government service because sure. you, involved in what we're involved in, really involves negotiation on a whole bunch of different levels. So yeah. I think that that kind of experience certainly serves you well in, 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 the, uh, in, in your new position, new mm -hmm. responsibilities. Uh, you, you have some interesting uh, responsibilities, as people may, may or may not know. Uh, the Township Committee is divided up into various liaison responsibilities. Right. And each of us has different responsibilities to, to have liaison with the various departments. I know you're the liaison to the Public Works Department. I, mm -hmm. That's quite an interesting and challenging responsibility. Can you talk to us a little bit about those responsibilities and what you've learned thus far in that, in that area? Uh, I'm very pleased to work with uh, uh, the 
Public Works Department. Um, Neil Blitz is the director of Public Works, and you know, he and I have a very close relationship. Uh, this, obviously, this department, as we enter into the winter, is you know going to take on in increasing importance. Um, and my work with Neil has been very, uh, very fruitful, actually. You know, um, when uh, I was uh, running for re-election this year, I would often go out and and uh, and meet Plainsboro residents and would hear about potholes, or I would hear about um, you know various other concerns around the town, uh, repair of the parks, and and so forth. And it's part of my responsibility as the liaison to Public Works to make sure that. One, those issues are uh, understood by the Township Committee and by the, um, the various Township Departments, and two, that once they are recognized, that uh, appropriate um, activity is, is followed and, and uh, that it's followed up on. And so I, I, think, I work I think, very closely I think Public with Public Works is the one that gets you really in very close contact with everyday right. issues That's within exactly the community. Right. I mean, people, everyone relates to right. having their streets uh, mm -hmm. and roads uh, cleared during mm -hmm. snowstorms. <laughs> uh, example today, it happened to be snowing as we're right. having the interviews. Absolutely. So our, our folks are out there working very hard to, uh, to maintain the streets. But, you know, potholes and roads, improvements, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's really a very significant responsibility. And I know you'll, you'll do a great job, and I know already you've, you've had uh, input into some of the issues and, and be able to transmit those issues back to the town right. and to the staff to get them corrected. You just went through an election process, mm -hmm. and you know I, I've done that on, on a number of occasions, and I always found that, and I've had an opportunity to go with you this, this right. uh, past sure. uh, November uh, in that election process. You were successful mm -hmm. uh, to achieve another three-year term on the Township Committee, and we congratulate you on that. Thank you. But I've always found that, that to be a, a really uh, interesting process, and not only interesting, but a rewarding process, because mm -hmm. you get you out into the community. Right. What's your reflections on some of the things you heard out there? Did you, did you enjoy the process? I, yeah, I, I did, actually. I, I enjoyed the process. Um, one thing that was so helpful was as as a new you know, a new member of the Township Committee running for re-election, I, I was very fortunate to have uh, Ed Yates as my running mate. Ed's been on the committee for I think this is his sixth term that he just won. I think he's eighteen years yeah. on the committee. Yeah, and he was so um, helpful and so encouraging uh, when we when we would go campaigning together, and if I was. Uh, unclear if, if in speaking to residents, uh, I was unclear about an issue. Um, he would, you know, he he would always know what to say or, or or how to address it appropriately. And so I was I was very very fortunate to have Ed running with me and and helping me through this whole process. So it was so a good learning process. For it you. was yeah. terrific learning process. Well, you, it you, really you, was. You to be congratulated. I, I know what you did uh, in this election, and I think both you and Eddie. Uh, made an effort. Uh, it's important. People like to to see the people right. that they Thank elect. You. And you went out, and I, I don't know how many doors you knocked on, but it was <laughs> really very, very impressive. Thank you. Uh, the, the job that you did in talking to people, and I had an opportunity to go out with you a couple times, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just a good experience all the way around. And it, you never cease to learn in this right. kind of process about right. people's issues. And it's important because people like to see you at the door. They like to have an opportunity to. Uh, to talk about uh, the Absolutely. things that are good, sure. and sometimes we hope not too often sure. the things that are sure. bad, but we try to fix those things and capitalize on the things that are good. Mm -hmm. uh, any other reflections about the, the position that you're in now? Uh, can you talk a little bit about yeah. your desires about g going forward and the kind of things you want to get involved and do? Well, well sure. I mean, I the uh, serving on the Township Committee is, I'm, I'm tremendously, um, I feel tremendously privileged to be a part of the committee. I mean, one, one reason I wanted to get involved was uh, when I moved to Plainsboro and, and I uh, working for Senator Greenstein and, and interacting with um, with you and the members of the Township Committee, I was really struck by um, the quality of the members of the Township Committee. Right? You, you, we enjoy in this town, you know, not. Uh, a, n a number of people in Township Committee serving for a very long period of time that are very uh, highly qualified, highly educated, really dedicated and skilled um, public servants. And so I, I was really deeply impressed by that, right? 
Um, and that's something I wanted to be a part of. That's something I wanted to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Um, mm -hmm. I think you're doing a great job. In my work on the Township Committee. And you know, I, I think Plainsboro is really well served by having, again, um, public servants that are in it for a long time and really are highly uh, dedicated and skilled and highly educated. I, well, you know, it, it's, it's funny because I like to echo those sentiments. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've served on Township Committee for 39 years, mm -hmm. mayor for 33 years. And I'm so happy today because I, I work with people uh, that are truly dedicated to the interests of the community. Mm -hmm. They get along uh, while they don't always agree. Right. They basically uh, are, are positive in their approach to government mm -hmm. and, and positive for the right reasons. They're positive because of their concerns for the community. I think you're going to do a great job on the Township Committee because I sense that you have the same kind of commitment to Plainsboro Thank that you. the rest of our members have and mm -hmm. that I enjoy working with those folks and I know I'll continue to enjoy working with you. Anything else you'd like to reflect upon before we close this? I just, you know, I again, I, I feel um, very blessed to be part of this uh, community. You know, my um, wife and I... Uh, Married three months ago, we bought a house here, a townhouse here, about a year ago, and we, we look forward to raising a family in Plainsboro and uh, you know, really taking a uh, more of a role in the community and, and raising a family here. And I just feel very blessed. Well, we, we appreciate your interest in Plainsboro. We appreciate your, your interest in contributing to Plainsboro, and I know what you're going to do a great job on the township committee, and you bring an element to the committee that we haven't had in a while, and that's youth. I mean, you're not only the newest member, but you're the youngest right. member. And right. I know you're going you're gonna to do a great job for Plainsboro. So I want to thank you for being with That's us today. Funny. And thank you. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And I look forward to another uh, Spotlight Special in the near future. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.